Hello. Hello. Hi everyone, hope you're well. Lovely to see you. Thanks for joining us. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really seem like eight hours ago we finished this? Was it eight hours ago? It eight hours ago, yeah. Wow, I can't believe that was eight hours. It doesn't feel like it at all. <laughs> all day. How was your afternoon? My afternoon was fabulous. Thank you very much. Lots and lots of things. I'll go into that later. All really good stuff. But um, welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone on the line. This is um, our lovely Knit and Natter. Um, I'm Angela, if you haven't met me already. And the orange shorts were my belong to my very, very, very good buddy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just to let you know how this runs, um, we um, we used to all meet up, didn't we, until a few days ago or a few weeks ago. And we used to have all of our wonderful knitting groups around the world. And um, they have, alas, stopped for the time being. So we thought it'd be really good to get your knitting, crochet, crafty stuff out, and then we can all knit together online. So that's what we're we're doing. So we've got some, uh, I think we've got some new people as well. Yeah. We have. So lovely to see some, um, some people that we know. Um, and also a huge, huge welcome to people who have just discovered our Knit and Natter TV, web TV. So let's say hello. Hi, Jackie. Hello. Hi, Dawn. Hello. And hi, Claire. And then hi, in the you. room, we have Helen as well. Hi, Helen. And we have Will. Hi, Will. Hi there. Um, right. So we'll, we'll go through the kind of normal stuff um during the session this evening and there will be people joining so we'll probably recap some stuff as well um angela i can talk for england as you probably already gather um so the next two hours will just fly by so make yourself a drink um alcoholic as it's now evening if you want to um and uh, we'll just chat away at, constantly <laughs> um and every so often we'll dip into the room and talk about what people are talking about in the room if you want to send pictures of your works in progress then please do and we'll share those throughout the evening as well and and can you just remind me i had some pictures come through from janet that i didn't show this morning so i'd like oh, to wow. show those of her work in progress yeah we've got an amazing collective eclectic group of people um janet is responsible for coordinating everything within the uk for the knitting and crochet guild and has um some real troopers assisting as well so um yeah lots and lots of things there to preserve the art to make sure that we we keep all of those beautiful patterns they've got a beautiful environment where there are pieces of work but where where are some of the pieces of work from that we've seen they're hundreds of years old, aren't they? Some of them. Yes. So, Hi, I'm going to. Welcome back. Oh, hello. Good to see you hello again. Um, I'm going to do what I normally do and just get my cup of tea. What she is telling you is that there is gin in it this time. There isn't. <laughs> <laughs> people say i'm hyper anyway on this so if i had a gin as well it'd just be too hyper for everybody possibly even for me so i'll stick to my cup of tea for now so i haven't done any knitting since this morning though me neither i did no. take it downstairs but no i haven't done any i had a nice oh. long sleep instead and I went out for my walk. So the challenge we talked this morning about having a daily challenge and mine was to go out and have a walk today, which I did. I FaceTimed oh. my nephew. Um, oh. And I uh, assisted Gary with technical support for his mother down the phone, which was hilarity in itself. <laughs> what sort of support did you need to give her? Oh. So Disney have launched their version of Netflix today oh. and um, he wanted her to be able to see it. 
uh, especially now she's kind of very isolated um but just trying to get her to help uh, to, to even press the right buttons was just ludicrous so um i went out for my walk i came back an hour later and they'd got no further forward <laughs> <laughs> so and then I said can you not just do this remotely and he went what do you mean I went well I'm sure there's an app to be able to help do this and lo and behold there was an app so he Team Viewer. oh no, no that's on computers. and then um was able to help her fabulous so she now Claire says problem. that I should, she thinks it's going to be funny if I have gin so I might actually go and get myself a nice gin I think you should. Actually, can you remind me to bring on the gin one of the bottles of gin that um i got from belgium last year okay. and i'll need to read everything that's on the label i'll do it um tomorrow because i'd have to go out to the garage jump over the cement mixer and everything else to go and get it um, so i'll do that in daylight but it's called save the bees and it's all about saving bumblebees. So this gin is very special. I've never opened it yet. It has been on the shelf for oh, a few months. I've actually got one bottle of gin there that's never been opened in about seven years. So, uh, but I'll bring because the the whole thing and there's little bits of honey in the gin as well. So I don't want to open it until I can go back to the Bruges gin gin house where they sell over 300 different gins and you have to knock on the door and be let in oh, um, wow. yeah yeah so sorry we can speak for england so um i've been wanting to go to this bruge gin house for years but it's only open friday saturday and sunday and we only go to bruges during the week monday to friday so right. it's easy for us to get restaurants etc and last year we went on the Sunday so I could go to the gin place and they had the most amazing array of gins. So, um, yeah, when I can go back and buy another bottle, then I will open my bottle. So, have I tried Cherish Gin? It changes colour when you add the tonic. Oh, no. But what I am going to do, um, talking about gin, Helen, have you got the app for gin which is called gin ventry so i'm going to go on to the app now where is it and again I, this is just i want to know what um mort's bringing claire mort just what, popped in he's gonna, he's gonna get oh. a drink for claire and i want to know what he's gonna what he's gonna oh. bring back Gin. <laughs> There's a surprise. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, where's my app gone? And I need to put this in because, oh, here it is. So there's this app called Gin Ventry, and there's, there must be thousands of different gins. So we will try it live. It says find a gin or a tonic, and this is called Sharish, S H R I I R. A I S Cherish Gin. Distilled in a traditional Portuguese copper still, it uses a combination of nine carefully selected botanicals, blah, 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 blah. Um, oh, smooth gin with a unique aroma. It has a very citric yet sweet flavor from the apple and the vanilla. I would like that. Um, juniper is really good. So, perfect garnishes, apple, cinnamon, and vanilla. So, I think what would be really nice is a slice of apple, half a cinnamon stick, and rather than vanilla, I'd probably um, replace that with a tonka bean with, um, now, which tonic water? Schweppes Premium Mixer with Pink Pepper Tonic. Thank you ever so much. What I'm going to do now is I'll show you this. I don't, uh, we're not going to be able to see it anyway on here you can put a gin in your wish list say that you've got it in your cabinet um want to purchase it and you can rate gins as well so i've rated some gins at nine and a half ten 
um, and some at six, six and a half. So I'm going to put that in my wish list. Thank you very much, Helen. Um, so it changes colour when you add the tonic. Oh, wow. Thank you. Gin. Morrison's do a nice Sicilian lemonade. Um, oh, earlier on today, uh, Peter was with us. Um, I know some of you weren't with us earlier. We, we, we had a little bit of a challenge to say, now we've got this time, what are we going to do? Um, so Claire was going to make some scones. So you didn't make your scones, but I got some out of the freezer and I ate one earlier, a cheese scone, because I found it so interesting. <laughs> I really wanted cheese scones. Um, did dinner from scratch, so we'll save them for tomorrow. Um, did clean down the camping chairs so we can sit outside, brilliant. Did a bit of sorting work stuff, but only in general, that's good. Moving bits of paper around is sorting stuff as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so if it's any more than that, then that was a real plus. Need to do the proper work on packing, but I can't face it yet. No, and you certainly can't face it with gin, so enjoy the gin. Um, so I, an email's just come through from Wool Warehouse. Right, to say. So to, uh, saying they're really operating on skeleton staff. Um, they've stopped answering the phones now so they can continue. And please, 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 if you're ordering anything from them, um, it's practically impossible once the order's processed to then go to the warehouse trying to pick that and add something or take something away. So um, once you've ordered it, it's just going to get shipped. So um, yeah, but I did some shopping last night and it's arriving tomorrow. So I bought some new makeup from Urban Decay um, and that should be arriving tomorrow. So that's quite good. I've never heard of them. They're, um, well, I used to use all Forever Living stuff, and then they stopped making all of that. So I was looking for something that isn't tested on animals, but looks as if you wear makeup rather than stuff that is just clear. Um, so yeah, it's and there's it, they're moving it all to vegan as well. So it's not tested on anim animals, and uh, the vast majority is now vegan. So really, really good. It is owned by L'Oreal now. However, um, they've still continued with the vegan and the vegetarian and not um, um, being tested on animals. Um, Wool Warehouse should be considered an essential retailer. I believe so, Claire. <laughs> so, um, well, they're online, so they're fine. Oh, look at what Dawn's made. She's made broccoli and potato soup. Wow. And tomato sauce for the freezer, and a loaf of bread in the bed maker. I'm really going to toy with the idea of whether to tell this story about the person at the market stall on sa on Saturday. So I maybe did. I'll tell. I that. think you should safe space. So we'll tell that later. So what's everyone working on anyway? They did, Claire. So there are certain ones there. Urban Decay, like it covers up a multitude of sins. I like Urban Decay stuff. And um, it's the one place where I can I can order black lipstick, almost black purpley lipstick. So um, yeah. Oh, I didn't realise they owned Body Shop as I well. I didn't either, no. No. Body Shop has changed a lot, but hey, it's still going, so. Fabulous. So, who I thought, was... I thought there was like a famous model that owned the body shop. No, the founder was. Oh, right, okay. Oh. Oh, what was her name? I want to say Anne, Annette. Uh, it's something like Annette-ish. Oh, and Anita Roddick. Thank you, Claire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing ethics for launching the business when it really wasn't as um, understood 
back in the day. So, um, yeah, she did a, I think she did a fabulous job at creating something and making it totally normal, um, acceptable, ac accessible. And uh, I think she changed a lot of people, people's perception. Yeah, back in the 70s, wow. I was little when it first came out. It was so, it was so huge. Yeah. 1976. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Robert sat there looking as if to say, I wasn't even on this earth. <laughs> yeah. Don't apologize, Claire. <laughs> Everybody's head is full of completely useless information until you're there and you go, ah, oh, I know about that. Yeah, I know. Oh. Dawn, I have got your pictures, but if it's all right with you, I'd like to finish this row before I share. Because I want to, um, I think I can get this finished by the weekend, maybe. Can you? Well, maybe, depends. I might get bored and stop it halfway through. Ah, uh, oh. see, that's why you remember then, Claire, because you probably came across it while you were studying. I remember uh, it was sociology. It wasn't business studies because I didn't do business studies. But I remember um, we did lots of study on the 60s and 70s in London and overcrowding and BP body buildings. Um, and so, uh, was it Bethnal Green as well? Um, so I always thought these are really amazing places. And when I came down, I thought, oh, well, no, they're nice, but not as interesting as some of the textbooks sort of made it. They were just normal places. Um, but I think with the, the whole 2.4 children, et cetera, it's really, it was seen as being quite different um, to other parts of London. But I can't really remember much of it. Um, I didn't go on to study A level in. Oh, I did study A level in sociology, but finished. Um, I didn't quite get it at A level. I was I wasn't quite um, aligned to the sociology A level, so I left and did economics. Um, <laughs> oh dear! Oh, yay! There's a blast from the past. 2.4 children. I used to love that TV programme. It is on telly at the moment. Is it? Yeah, it's on one of the um, the channels. I'm sure it's on, is it Red or something like that? I don't know. There's some channels that it's on. So, I still don't know what people have ordered because people were going to be ordering from Bull Warehouse today, as far as people say. Hi, Linda. Hey, hi. I think that, is that Mrs. Ellis or is that Miss Phillips? That's Linda Phillips. Hi, Linda. So. Oh, Dawn, you must be having some real horrible flashbacks. Watching the original Inspector Morse. Oh. Claire, what was you going to buy the greys for? Dawn, I can imagine very scary hair. Luckily, I was just like a wee little boy, so I don't remember a lot of the 80s. <laughs> oh, dear. That's very true, Helen unless you have a barber who lives at home with you who's your barber gary does my hair <laughs> well he only, has to put, he only has to put a number two on it and go all over and then it's done 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me just double check that I've cast off the right number. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. So I'm actually at the point where I'm um, reducing for the shoulders now. So that's really good. So hopefully I will get this sleeve done today. Right, Claire is doing a blanket that uses graduating colours. Oh, I still say that one of the best things we've ever seen was Lily Pond in grey. I just need to stop for a second. Gary's just turned the volume up on the TV so loud I couldn't hear you. And all I had to do was slam my foot on the ceiling twice and he's <laughs> turned it back down. <laughs> that, that must be what it's like to be a parent with a kid who <laughs> turns the music up loud. Oh, <laughs> Uh, it was very quiet, Jackie, but it was nice. Thank you. Um, we had a very lazy morning and then we had Chinese for dinner. Oh. Is it nice, your Chinese? Um, it was, actually. We had um, we 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 normally always get the same things when we have Chinese because um, we're creatures of habit. But I said this time, let's get something we've not had um and it was actually really really nice so we'll, we'll be having it again Ooh. thank you helen it was on sunday um 21 years of being together and uh what did i say oh god I promised myself i would never forget this 2006 14 years married oh so lovely so so lovely yeah, because when I, when we, uh, you know, when Gary printed the things off for us, when we needed something printing and you call, you message Gary and got Gary to print something off. Yes. I didn't realise Alan's never seen Gary. Has he not? And he said, oh, is that Gary? I thought, oh, all these years. <laughs> and they've never met really. So, um, yeah. Oh. I know, Claire, time got, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, it does. Oh. So has anyone finished any projects today? Wouldn't have thought so. Mm. What's the matter? I just thought, what's that on the floor? It's a business card. And I picked it up and it's the sitting room in Sheringham. Oh, oh. Isn't that weird? I'm in I'm in the front porch. I've got seven I think it's seven project bags around me in here. And there's something on the floor, the sitting room. Oh, we do like that place. So for anyone who doesn't know, Robert organises our annual trip to Sheringham and does a very good job. And have you done any planning so far this year for it? Not as much as I normally would have done by now. Right. Which I'm kind of a bit pleased about. Good. Um, Actually, just give me a nudge because I need to send everybody an email to give them an update with um, uh, the hostel situation. Mm. Um, How is that working out? Well, they're closed, understandably. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry. Um, and they've... Um, there's a thing on their website saying that all bookings up to the 31st of December this year um, are now completely flexible. Oh. Um, but nothing about 
next year or exclusive hires. So I, uh, I'm going to leave it for a while and then see what they say. What I don't want to do is put loads of time and effort into planning it and then we can't go. Mm. Um, Helen, fine. Helen says she's working on a top down Cardi. Helen, please feel free to use Facebook Messenger and send a picture. Um, and then we'll start showing some work in progress uh, in a minute. I've got about 15, maybe 20 stitches left on this row. Mm. I, I must admit, I don't know if you normally do top down cardigans, Helen, but I, when I did my first one, it made perfect sense. It really looks quite um, different, um, but I really, really enjoy doing a top-down cardigan. And that's another project I need to finish. I need to do the i cord bind off all around it. So um, it is finished, although I may frog it slightly and take it back and redo some of the detailing on it. Um, but it's practically finished. Just okay, so you've just given me two ideas for new polls. So for those of you that don't know, we can run polls while we have these conversations. Um, we had uh, one about me the other day. I think we're now going to set up two about Angela. And when you start your next project, the poll will be, how many times will Angela frog this before it's finished? <laughs> and then the, the next one should be, should Angela be banned from starting anything new until she's finished all her current works in progress? Oh, Robert. If I finished everything that I'd started, I I get part way through and I think, you know what? I just wouldn't wear that. Or I I'm a great one for starting, adapting different walls, and I think it's really not hanging right. So, you know, I, I just stick it in a bag and throw it in the garage and uh, say that's a project to finish. But um Actually, I've got something for next for next year's swap. Um, what is it, stash buster? I've got about eighteen balls of that opium in a pale blue, and I don't think I'm ever going to finish it ever. So, there's enough for a cardigan on the top. So, I'll give uh, that away. Yeah, the the cardigan's half finished. <laughs> I just well, I don't like the shade on me. Why didn't I pick up the beige? So, um, yeah, um, um, how many times will I, I frog something? I don't know. Worst, it, worst of it in three to four months, but. You need to go back to Helen. Oh, right, sorry. We will do. We'll be out of this by Christmas. Now Claire's comment will make sense. <laughs> Helen, love that. Bought the pattern without realising it was top down. Then you think I've fallen in love with it. I've got to give it a go. Um, yeah, three to four months. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll have lots and lots and lots of um, yarny things once we're able to go out shopping. I think we're all going to go mad, aren't we? Or we'll be very frugal then, one of the two. Right, I need to follow this pattern at the same time. And you're going to do that one here? Yeah. I might need to frog it. It's only, it's only shaping the shoulder. Um, I right, spy a so frog. Huh? I said I spy a frog. No. Decreasing one stitch at each end of every row. That's oh, how many rows? So this is what I always find confusing. When a pattern, some patterns will say to you, work four rows. Oh no, it has told me exactly how many rows to decrease. I haven't read, read it properly. So that's fine. Let's get decreasing. Um, can I just ask, Dawn, was it yourself who posted in the reading, reading ahead Facebook group that you'd read a book on knitting stories? I think 
you did um because i'm wanting to select my next book i've got about 15 to 20 minutes left of um i've been reading a, a book called five and it's the accounts of the um five victims of jack the ripper and who they were what their background was their family status etc it's been absolutely incredible um yeah and uh don yeah it was it was you wasn't it i think you said it was one of the best books that you'd read so i think i might select that one next um because the the one i've been reading has been fascinating but absolutely heartbreaking as well but um i always thought the, the stories around jack the ripper was that most of his victims were prostitutes and that's not necessarily the case at all so um really quite heartbreaking what happened with them so i want something that's a total shift and something on knitting so i will look at your post um for that book and i think i'm going to download it because i've got five audible credits now to use um so i want something a little bit more light-hearted so i'll get that okay so i'm going to start some show and tells so that is linda p uh making cactuses i really oh. really need to sort the lighting out in this room so it doesn't reflect there we go so she, it looks like she's done another one today because she'd done two the other day robert are you on have you got facebook on the laptop yes and at the bottom do you have you're going to teach me to something techie yeah view wow. sharing options yes can you see yeah so if you click on view sharing options yes and then it will say share your entire screen oh yeah click on that and then click the button to say okay and you can then display what you've got on facebook There we go. Whee! So that's Linda's oh, cat tie. Fantastic. And then while we're here, if we do this, oh. if this doesn't work. Dawn is currently make uh, using her stash to make hats for the homeless oh and i was trying to read the pattern oops no, i've gone the wrong way and there she is that's her cast on wow well done Dawn says she's also knitting pearls by Anne Hood or, knit, uh, or knitting yarns by her too. Their books, um, so there's Cloripox is great, The Yarn Whisperer or Knitlandia, I think those are two books. I, I'm sure I've got one of those anyway, but I haven't heard of Knitting Pearls by Anne Hood or Knitting Yarns. So um, I think I'm going to, oh, look, and a good yarn by neg that's at least five credits gone <laughs> <laughs> debbie Macomba. See how easy and wonderful this system is. It's really good, isn't it? So 
So that mm -hmm. there, picture that I meant to show this morning of what Janet Collins has just finished. You're joking. No. Look at the sleeves as well on that. I know. All that wow. work in it though. It, I just, it would do my head in. That's incredible. That is beautiful. Really, really love that. The, the, the work that goes into some of these jumpers and patterns are just so intricate. Yeah. Um, Claire says she's changed to something else now. So I don't know. She's put a quilting down. Don't know what she's doing now. Yes, we do want to know, Claire. I think we're going to have to show um, Peter's um, cow from earlier this morning. Yes, let me. I can't remember what it was called. Jack Randu or something like that. I'm going to start writing notes on everything now. <laughs> Dawn, you didn't see this this morning, but it's absolutely amazing. Look at that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All that intricate pattern detailing. And I've just noticed these corners. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but the corners. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought you could do that? They look like shells. So, so intricate. Absolutely. I'm going to have a look at. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yes, it's all about you. <laughs> You're not even going to contemplate starting it. It will never get done. <laughs> oh, when the pond gets finished. <laughs> I've only got one sleeve left to do on this. So, oh, actually, hang on a minute. Work of every row. Let me reduce my stitches now again. To be honest, that looks rather too complex for me to, to do. Um, it's, ju it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Peter, if you're still there, do tell us how long that's taken you to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you're not there. I'm going to. Uh, hi, Mary. He's not there, but um, what I would do is I'll message him later and ask him how long it took. Yeah, uh, what I'll do is I'll show the other pattern that he um, Peter's going to be working on as well. And that's this one. So the guy with the hook. Oh, you'll like these. Yeah, you the will. Functions. So these are some cushions that Peter's going to do over the next <clears throat> however long whilst people are at home. Um, I mean, these are, are just beautiful. Oh, so they make it made out of sheepies, soft fun. I haven't seen um, soft fun. Um, I think sheepies hasn't been used that much in the UK until quite recently um, but it's becoming a lot more widespread and i, I just love the colors on that um peter was going to be doing he did say blue and yellow didn't he um and this morning i said i think that would be lovely in purple and and um gold as well yellow 
the blues cult that amazing and um there's a kyoto wrap free pattern Do you know i'm gonna actually click on that now and see what the wraps like oh large wrap oh that's nice with little fans that's something dawn dawn um likes japanese inspired things so there's a free pattern as well for you um that's beautiful love that oh claire i really like the sound of what you're doing we should think about doing something like that you know right how we can make it woolly related <clears throat> we could swap yarn and send each other <laughs> no, I was thinking nice. like maybe do a granny square a yeah. seven by seven granny square and then collate them somehow and put them together yeah mm. that might be a good one to try lovely Hmm. What? Claire, send me a picture of the ones that you're doing. Hundred and fifty. Oh wow. It's oh, really wow. Yeah, it's really lovely, isn't it, to be able to yeah. do things like that. for me oh i'm sorry people are messaging in the background oh are they yeah. no no i'm just intrigued to be fair i was tidying up my exactly. email inbox as well because that's where janet's um, pictures were <laughs> <laughs> oh dear see you later jackie jackie's going oh bye jackie I've just had this from Linda. So she started on her patchworking that she was showing us yesterday. Wow. I've never done patchworking. 128 by three and a half inch half square triangles ready to sew together tomorrow. You've been busy today then. doing then 
Beautiful. Hi, Tracy. Hello. I don't know what you mean, Claire. Sorry. In a pattern. Is that me or is that Linda's or? Ah, oh, you're talking to Linda. Okay. I've remembered, Robert, yeah. that we bought some material. Oh, we did, didn't we? Oh. Mine. We bought some material and um, it was rather, rather cute material. So it's it's got to be... Um, made up and we said we were going to make some cushions although i haven't got a well i do have a sewing machine somewhere apparently in the loft but look at that but what you can't see is the gold the gold oh yes you can there you go gold really brings it out yeah so um yeah we've both got some of that so um i have to find mine i know it's somewhere in the house but i'm not quite sure where um they're going to be cushions so i thought cushions would be really really nice out of it i don't know what robert's um making with his i'm, I'm um, making cushions as well for the sofa that I'm are, I, yeah. are you and are they going to be plain or are you going to put anything on around the outside or sorry piping oh no they going just do to... it as it is yeah i won't embellish it i'm still on tea oh the bag oh So the bag that I showed this morning, this is what Claire made. Um, and they're amazing. And Robert has a Harry Potter one as well. So she, she, it was a pattern, I think, that she either found, but she had to modify it or, or designed it herself from scratch. Um, so you can perfectly put your wool in there and then hold it and knit while you travel so um beautiful but yeah it would be lovely in that so um how many of these bags can i have in a cat pattern i could have so <laughs> many <laughs> how many projects could i ever get on the go actually i've just seen um you'll probably recognize this robert Oh, is that the wall for Gary's scarf that wasn't? Yeah. Yes. So this, this is... Um, if, That's the scrumptious think, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If you've ever seen this, it is... Um, Beautiful. So soft. Yeah. 45% silk, 55% merino. Um, and Robert and I out one day and Robert was going to desi design and make a scarf for Gary and we selected these beautiful colours like this red is just so oh, rich you won't see how beautiful it is and that grey which is all is it blue or grey right it, it is oh, grey yeah but it's got a beautiful blue sheen so those three and we spent how long at that stall selecting these 
that Fiber East? Think. Or was that? Yes, it was. It was, wasn't it? Fiber East. Um, and then Gary didn't like the colours. <laughs> so when we went to Sheringham and um, we had, well, Robert had an idea um, about taking yarn that we didn't want anymore. I saw it there and I grabbed it and thinking, oh, I love that yarn. And then realized it was um, what I'd selected with Robert for Gary. So no wonder I thought it was so wonderful and brought it home. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's beautiful. So I, I would like to use that um, next. Not quite sure how we're going to use it because there's four skeins there. So there's enough for something beautiful. Do you know what you should do? <laughs> you what? should make the scarf for Alan that I was going to make for Gary and then send me a picture of it finished and see whether yeah. Gary prefers it now it's finished. Or whether Gary turns around and says, oh, I like that scarf <laughs> and even recognises it. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll have to do that. But I would like to, that, that is so soft, silk and merino. Mm. It's just beautiful. Anything with silk in it anyway just has a, a totally different sheen, feel. Um, it, it's beautiful. So I would like to use that yet, but I haven't quite found the pattern um, for that. So, um, yeah. So, um, Ellen, yes, we did buy that from Sheringham. It came from our tree crafts. Um, although I won't be using it for a while because my craft desk is currently filled with Lego. And what are you doing with your Lego? Uh, I'm making the um, Harry Potter castle. Mm. Oh, right, what do I have? And Actually, I have these. Claire, yes, that is a brilliant idea. It would stop the balls of wool scooching across the floor in the pub. yeah um you know i i said that i'd like you to help wind something robert yeah. Yeah. okay i saw those in the boot the other day you could have given me them then i forgot i forgot i had them really Do you need um, to have them wound if the wrong cones or is it just because well, they'll go all over the place if they're on cones or just want them in smaller balls? Well, it's just that they're, I think I need them in smaller balls because yeah. there's so much and it's so fine that I can't be bothered to knit something that fine. So I'll have to use two or three balls, two or three strands at the same time. So I'd never knit a Gansey in my life. So um, I'm certainly not using two, one or two millimetre needles, but I just thought the colours were fantastic. So, yeah. um, and I've got a nice shawl pattern that I think will be really, really nice where they're all, um, you do a very long triangle in one colour and then you do another triangle in another colour. I've got it anywhere to show you. Um, Ah, oh, yes, I have. I've got it here. So that's, oops, that's the pattern. You do it on circulars. Um, and it's by Belinda Harris Reed. Oh, I had it the wrong way round. Look, that's how it is. So I thought in three, two or three different colours. That'd be really nice, but I need it at least double neck, and that stuff is double neck, so hmm. is that an easier picture of it? What's not double knit? Sorry, Angela. This is double knit, but that stuff is one or two ply, so I'm gonna have to. I like the colors of that, but I'm gonna have to put it into two or three smaller balls. So I can the, use two or three strands. The scrumptious is double knit. Is it? Yes. It's 
So I need two times 100 grams of warm moonshine. Right, so you've got two lights oh. over there. Yeah, and then I've got one warm... It's saying you need three colours, so that would be fine. Yeah. Perfect. So 400 grams in total. <clears throat> there you go. Let's have a look. And it might not be quite as long. Let's have a look and see what the yardage is. A bit less. I'm, I'm, I'll work it. That'll be fine. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Done. Right. So I'm just going to, as you asked about it, I'm just going to show everybody my other hobby. So this is the Harry Potter castle at the moment. So put it into context. There is from the table here, the bottom of the table to the bottom of the picture, there is probably 80 centimetres. So this castle is now from the bottom to the top of the turret is about a metre high. Wow. And look at all that detail. That's that's stained glass windows in there and then these staircases rotate oh wow there we go and that's probably about 60 centimeters wide mm -hmm. moment. Mm. thank you all very much right i've got lots that of messages so cool. i'm going to click but uh oh helen hang on everybody let me show you what helen's got That's what Helen got for Christmas. Oh. oh, wow. And then there's the picture of her top down Cardi. See, I, I'm glad you showed me this now, um, how to do this, Angela, because that looks so much better now, doesn't it? You can really see the colours in it. Yeah. It's a beautiful um, yarn bat. It's really, really soft. I don't know what the what the mix is, but the colours just like the 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 colours really stand out. Um, and if you're still looking at the screen, this is a cardigan a jumper. Sorry, that Sandra made. Sandra was on earlier on. Wow. I love the colours in that. That's gorgeous. Yeah totally totally brilliant i am going to have to count up and see how many stitches i've got or not in a minute ah so this is a bag that linda's made which is very similar to claire's but can you see she's put eyelets in it so that she can pull multiple colors through that's a very clever yeah. idea. It is. Helen says it's 53% wool, 47% acrylic. Thank you very much. I know it felt really lovely. Even better when you can get the colour that you want in that mm. as well. Um. I'm going to have to, I know I can't at the moment, but I'm going to have to buy new zings because the tip of this zing has cracked. Has anyone else had that with zings where the tip is um, catching my wool, which is a real shame. Huh? No, I don't know. 
Mind you, I did drop it a little while ago, so maybe. Okay, so Brigitte says she's going to she's going to watch this one on catch up. So, hi, Brigitte, hi. and hi. hello, Sandra. You can come and join us. Hello. Uh, right, I need fifty-nine. <laughs> Claire, that could be so misconstrued. <laughs> And, Angela, how many times do those needles fall out of your bag and onto the floor? That's probably why they're catching, because you've probably got a chip or something in them where you drop them so often. Me? Hey, drop a needle? Yeah, you're always <laughs> dropping your bloody needles. I know, it's just dropped on the floor here. So, oh, there we um, go. Yeah, I know. Well, hey-ho, as they say. I swear he's turned that bloody TV up again. Well, we can't hear the TV here. But earlier, Alan was um, mowing the lawn outside. Oh, I didn't hear that. Huh? Didn't hear that at no. all. No, and then when he came in, he was like, I'm going to be really quiet, taking the plug out, etc. So, um, yeah, bless him. Ah, uh, oh. is that because, well, I'm just looking at Claire's comment, um, thinking, is she referring to the fact that I get so much value out of all wool because I frog just about everything? so that my needles do twice as much for one item of clothing <laughs> um bye Helen. Helen. oh bye bye helen oh yeah i know i know claire you do so much beautiful crochet and sewing and everything oh that's a very um, good idea mary i hadn't thought about that thank you oh Oh, no, I thought it had gone. It's just because I'm on the different one. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a go. Um, I might actually use um, a fine nail file to try, a glass nail file to try and smooth the edge of it. Not a problem with this wall, but I think there's some walls that you use that it would really snag. Um, like if I'm using, if I was using my cashmere that I've now knitted up. Right. It's really weird, but some of the, I've got some um, knitting needles that my friend gave me uh, that were her mum's. So they must be 60 years old and they're still as good as new. And the very end tip used to wear off slightly. Oh, Dawn, don't go. Just leave him to play his silly computer game. That's what mine's <laughs> doing at the moment. <laughs> oh. Do you know what? I haven't watched any Walters Presents in so long. What the hell is that? Where have you been in the world? Walter Presents is all Scandi Noir. It's all like Scandinavian crime drama. You've watched The Bridge, haven't you? Um, have you no. You haven't watched The Bridge? I thought you said that you'd watched The Bridge. Is that somebody else I've had the conversation with? Anyway, everything's got subtitles, um, but I never realised that Scandinavia and Iceland and stuff like that, are, oh, unbelievable crime um, stories um that's probably why i don't know it then claire <laughs> i only watch subtitle stuff when i'm really feeling lazy and can't be bothered to do anything in the background oh i just love i absolutely love them so anyway 
I'm sure that now I was getting to the point where there was quite a lot that I'd watched and very little that I hadn't seen, but they launched quite a lot um, last month and this month. So hopefully there's a bit there for me to watch now. Um, but yeah, it's not the sort of thing I can watch when I then have to sew a cardigan up because um, it has to be something quite straightforward so I can read the subtitles. Although the last one I started um, listening to was Italian and that seemed a lot easier because I did, I did know a few words in that whereas Scandinavian, hi means bye so you really can't fathom any of it out. So um, yeah, I realised I, I just don't understand the Scandi, the Scandi language at all. It's quite, it seems quite hard. Um, I'm the same, Claire. It is just background for me. If I have to pay attention, then I have to be in the same as you, the right frame of mind to sit and just <laughs> to sit and watch it. Yeah. Oh. Oops. So are we all, um, oh, bye everyone, um, Dragon um, Hubby away from Call of Duty. Is Call of Duty that programme that was on? No, or is that a, it's a computer game. Oh, it was the Line of Duty, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. I watched the first series of that not long ago, long ago on, is that on Netflix? Um, it's actually very good. So I might watch the other series. They're all on iPlayer, I think. The iPlayer? I don't know what it was. You know me. I had um, the little widget thing for how many months in my house and you had to install it for me. Yeah. Do they, Tracy? Because that first series I was hooked on. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And the problem is is that I saw about 15 minutes of Gogglebox once and it was the end of the last series. So I do know what happens in the end, which is a, a bit of a shame, but I found the first series amazing. So that's good to know. Uh, right, Sandra has a question for the group. Yeah. So just going to share. This is lethal, Angela. You shouldn't have shown me how to do this. So, Share so Sandra wants to make this Benjamin Bunny down here. Oh, so what colour to use? So, which out of those three? I think the Robin, personally, I think that's the right colour, or the middle one. I don't, I don't really like this colour. I suppose it depends on which colour you're going to do the jacket. Because you can do it the same colour as it is in the picture. I think the um, the one on the left might be too close to it. I'm the opposite. I like the one on the left. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, get it. So this is Benjamin, not Peter, that we're we're looking at doing. And I just I do think that one on the left is too close to the colour of the jacket. Yeah. I think the one on the right as well. Yeah. Tracy's offered to lend you the whole box set by the looks of it. Huh? Of, I'm guessing um, Line of Duty. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say. Um, although something I did the other day, I thought I've never seen that Hand, is it the handmaiden so i thought i was downloading it but i just bought a an episode <laughs> that's part of three and i don't know how to get a refund on it either so never mind i've paid for something that i don't need um so if i can't find them if i can't find series two or three i'll let you know tracy thank you very much handmaid's tale yeah um but i don't know where i can get that because I've got Prime, I've got Netflix, I've got Sky, I seem to have blinking everything. It must be free on something, but I just can't find it yet. Uh, Channel 4. Is it? I'm sure they're, on the, E4. I'm sure they're the people that showed it. 
do iPad. So sometimes I look everywhere. Yeah, I haven't I haven't read the book. Um But I, if it's very close, there's no need to read the book. It's probably going to be very good anyway. Oops. Uh, so it's Channel 4. It's um, one of the Channel 4 pro shows that channels that show it, but it's not on, it's not on catch up. All right, okay. Oh, does anybody watch Four in a Bed? No? Well, because last week, um, up in Heath and Reach, the Dukes, um, the owner of the Dukes was on Four in a Bed. So I might watch that after this and see what it was like at the Dukes. Um, so I like watching that programme. Um, yeah. Especially when it's um, a local person. Is it? I haven't been there. Well, I have been there for a business networking. They do a ladies business networking group there. Um, and the first thing I noticed when I went in um, was the quality of the coffee. It was really, really good. Um, so I'm, I'm a bit of a coffee snob and it was, it was really good. So I am going to go and eat there at some point uh, when everything opens up. Um, um, Mary, the Dukes, as you go up to Heath and Reach, it's on the right hand side. Uh, there is some parking and they've got some um, rooms as well. Yes, yeah, she is very community minded. Um, I, know, I know Sarah from um, another business I was part of years ago. Um, yeah, and they do a lot there. They host lots of lots of groups um and she's very very hospitable as well um so um really nice really really nice mary if you like good coffee you will love it at heath and reach um a lot would say too much coffee um there's never enough coffee in it for me really good strong and rich uh Yeah, Sarah Smith, I believe, owns, yeah, it's Sarah Smith who owns it. Really long, um, curly hair. Really, really nice lady. So another local business we can all support as well when we get back on our uh, walking feet rather than um, stay-at-home feet. Ah. Uh, How are you doing, Robert? I'm all right, thank you. I'm trying to find the handmaid's tale for you, and I can't find it anywhere. Oh, don't worry. Our local pub is good for our knitting and craft groups, but their coffee is not drinkable. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, Mary, we, we will have to um, compare coffee at some point. For me, the only place in Leighton Buzzard, or the Le Buzz, as I call it, is Espresso Head at the top. They have the most amazing coffee with crema that's about that thick on top. Um, amazing coffee. So I love um, going there. Um, but that's it. And my husband does um, call me Niles when I start twittering on about coffee or trying to get a co good coffee. <laughs> oh, Niles from um, Brazier. Yes. And my dad's even worse than I am. So there was, uh, we used to go to, my mum and dad, when, when they could still get out and about, we used to go to um, Marks and Spencer's every day, local to where they lived. There was one person in that store and it was a flagship Marks and Spencers who could pit, um, make my dad's coffee. And um, when my dad got in the queue, they used to go and find her 
because if not, that coffee would go back four, five, or six times until it was right. Um, so Maddie, <laughs> this lady, she used to do my coffee, my dad's coffees, um, and the, my mum and dad even used to go in and like give them a Christmas card with some money in it. Oh, bless. <laughs> I mean, it's have to bring the managers over and say, oh, we're not supposed to do this. And she's like, no, you're accepting that. So, yeah, my dad is, um, I probably get it from my dad because he's very funny about his coffees too. So, Mary, if you haven't been to Espresso Head, they do an amazing coffee there. Really nice. It's just the fact that there's, you can only see four people in there. So, um, it's quite small, but perfect coffee. Really good. Is that the ship that you're referring to for the the knitting? Well, there's a ship and then there's the um, the other one, the black lion, isn't there? Are on now TV. Oh, thank you, Linda. Have I got now TV? I have no idea. I'll have a look. Thank you very much. You have got now TV. Have I? Your Amazon Fire Stick. It'll be one of the apps on there. Thank you. You have to sign up and pay for it, but then you'll be able to um, cancel it after you've watched it. Mm, okay, I'll do it when I've got time to watch it. They might have a free trial. Yeah, that, that means I've got to do a, a watch fest in two days <laughs> or under five, under seven days. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not like that normally. It, if normally if there's really good things on a channel i will keep it and um i did subscribe to arrow tv because they had a lot of the scandy noir stuff so i thought it was brilliant and i was paying happily paying my five pounds a month then i realized there was even more for free on more four so i've been paying 4.99 a month um so i did actually cancel that one probably the first thing i've ever cancelled um yeah it is it is pay to view on amazon that's where i paid for one episode i mean it's not an issue but um yeah me i, I might press the wrong thing so and on this robert the next thing that we can we can go through is how to do polls and we can do handouts as well oh, so um yeah so possibly when we start doing a few other things like um, for people to learn to X, Y, and Z, um, that would be really good. And then the polls are up there as well. Right. How long is it going to take me to finish this blinking sleeve? that the last bit you've got to do though yeah yeah it's the last bit yeah so how's your color work going on on yours are you enjoying it um well i've already done two rows today this is uh, three rows sorry this is the end of row four today um i think reversing the color is absolutely the right thing to have done yeah it's just you know when you start a second ball or a third ball and you think oh this is going to take forever i'm in that phase yeah. at the moment i'm sure by the time i get through to the next color i'll be fine Um, do you actually want to explain to people what you did with the with the cake of wool? Oh. If some people weren't on this morning. No. Um, just give me one sec. That's all right. Oh. Um, so we had a, a quite a debate over the last three of these as to whether I was going to um, so there is my lovely shawl as to whether I was going to just repeat the colorway for the second ball 
or whether I was going to reverse it. So consensus was we were going to reverse it. So I took the cake and rather than pulling the thing from the middle, I decided that I would use my uh, skein winder and reverse wind the cake, which I did. And that's what I got. Ah. So that is now knitting the right way because I reverse wound it. And then last night, as I was getting towards the end of the first ball, I kicked myself because they didn't finish the ball properly and they started to repeat the colours. And then I went into complete panic because I didn't know what to do. And it was Gary that came up with the suggestion and he said to me, why don't you just cut the colour where it is now so it matches when you join the new ball and carry on from there. And so that's what I did. So a man who's never knitted before doesn't really pay much interest. Actually, the first thing he said to me was, oh, you've done it wrong again, haven't you? And I went, it's the simplest pattern in the world. I can't get it wrong. It's just knit. <laughs> oh. Right. What do I do after these? Oh. Oh. You know, I said I wasn't going to frog. Have you done it wrong? <laughs> Have you done it wrong? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You see, I don't read full sentences. I just get, I just start off with things. It says, work 22, no, 26 rows. Decreasing one stitch at each, at each end of next. I thought, right, that's all I have to do. And every following alternate row. Uh, I will do a safety thing. <sighs> Take it back. You did say, didn't you, don't decrease when we're doing this. Right, so where do I need to go? I'm now finished for today on knitting. I'm not doing the safety line while we're here. Um... Right, so now I know what I should have done. I can do that tomorrow. <sighs> so what's everyone's plans for tomorrow? coming what have we got coming
pick coming. Guess what I'm doing? Oh, don't get stuck. Bye, Linda. Bye bye. <laughs> Tracy, you're more than welcome. Bye. Why well, we decided to do it so that um, people could feel like they had contact with some familiar faces. Yeah. And that me and Robert can still chat for England. <laughs> and get some knitting done. Um, right. I think... I think before we go on next time, Angela, or every time, actually, I should check what it is that you're doing, because then, um, oh, Tracy, how very rude. Uh, <laughs> but you're, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we don't mind it. We don't mind being stalked. Uh, not by no, you, no, no, no. Well, have you not seen the bottom one? You said that we can talk for England, and she's put and wales and scotland <laughs> not quite enough for uh, ireland yet top of the morning to you oh <laughs> that was such a bad impression <laughs> well i did actually nearly move to belfast um and i've worked over there twice and yeah i could talk quite a lot there even but there were times when i couldn't get a, a word in edgeways over there oh right why have i got a knot here robert i've got a knot oh i'm frogging this is going to go horribly wrong i can feel it going wrong oh it's fine you know me just cut it no yeah no don't do that yeah. no don't do that angela put your lifeline in and then drop it round no, we can't. We can't have any contact. Well, I'm not saying we'll have any contact. You can hang it on the <laughs> door handle. I'll open it up, fix it for you, put it back on the door handle, and then you can go home. Oh, uh, it's all right. Well, uh, I'll, 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 what have I done with this? Right, I need to take it back an extra row, but let's see what we can do. Yes, Tracy. If you've um, ever seen us at a knit and matter, that's why I always put a bit of distance between us because you are absolutely 100% right. What? You and your needles. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> what? What about my needles? She says you look deadly with your needles. Wow. Well, you were frogging deadly. just a minute ago. Deadly. Oh, I didn't realise that people thought of me like that with my needles. I don't. I, I think I'm more into picking up stitches than frogging. I think that's why I frog as much as I do. It doesn't take long though, does it? And it's amusing for you guys to know that um, uh, there's going to be a poll on the number of times that I frog things. Right, so when I've done this, all I need to do is add, um, count up and start going again. Are oh, the Sesame, Sesame Street counting songs just come in my head now? Why? You said start counting, so I started to count. Did you? Yeah. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See, I'm too old for Sesame Street. I think I was more into my punk bands by the time Sesame Street came out. Right, let's have a... Okay, so we've got Claire's picture. Let me just load it up. Have you? My internet's going a bit slow, so just bear with.
There we go. That's what Claire's doing at the moment. Oh, fab. The middle one looks like a, um, I want to say a sunflower, but the petals are too thin. What's, it's not a um, daisy, is it? That's what it looks like. Gorgeous though, Claire. I love the colours. Mm, stunning. Oh, it is a sunflower. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let love some flowers. The shade. She does. Right, I've nearly repaired my mess. Gin going, Claire. Good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yes, we probably would have done. Or if Angela's not driving, maybe four or five. What's that? Gins. Sorry? Claire says if we were down the line, should have had two by now. Uh. And I just said you'd have probably had four or five. Now, now, Tracy, it's too early to start that kind of behaviour. You need to at least go three days before you do that. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I spoke to my sister earlier on and she's having the same problems with her kids.
Hi, Pat. Hello. Excuse me. I am. Um, come on. Uh, I must um, Claire. I'll, I'll show you. See if I can find this picture. My cousin um, posted on Facebook today um, a picture of him, his wife, and their three children. They've converted their dining room into a home office, and all five of them were sat there at the same time working. Scary. go oh wow <laughs> I was quite impressed yeah and, and I think you're probably right Claire that is probably the right way to go about it Uh, sorry, Tracy, it was the picture of my um, my cousin and his kids and his wife and their converted dining room into a home study, all with five different computers working away. Wow, I'm rather impressed with myself. Managed to fix it. Yeah, I um, I pulled it so much that I'd actually, at the end, I'd gone three rows below where I should have gone. So I just had this long piece of string. So I've been able to um, just, there are about seven or eight stitches that were an absolute mess. So, um, yeah, so it's all repaired now. All lovely. You can tell you um, learned the hard way <laughs> how to put up, up to 10 stitches, X number of rows. But if there's any cable in it, then I just leave it as a bad job. What's the PE thing? Don't know. Oh, Joe Wicks. Who is Joe Wicks? <laughs> right. Who is right Joe Wicks? There you go, Angela. That's Joe Wicks. Oh, is he a big puff or something? No, he's a fitness instructor. Oh, is he? Sorry, there's nothing for me. What, and is he? Sorry, is it? Oh, well. And he... Is he the guy who had the eight and a half thousand or something? Online? Uh, he's probably got more than that. Um, but he's currently doing free PE lessons every day. Yeah, I think he's, yeah, he is the one that they were saying he had eight and a half thousand on Zoom uh, at one time. Probably. Yeah, yeah. He has done foodie stuff before fitness. Yeah, it's probably where I recognise him from. I wouldn't recognise anyone from the fitness industry. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to say this now. Tracy, I'm doing this just for you. Brigitte, when you watch on playback, avert your eyes. Mm. 
<laughs> Claire, I really hope Mort wasn't in the room. <laughs> I'm glad you're finding enjoyment. <laughs> I'm just sat here thinking, I've not had any alcohol, but this is definitely a reason to continue with the evening sessions because we can definitely get away with a lot more than we can at 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, so, yeah. Who knew knitting needed a watershed, eh, Tracy? Well. Right, the next bit I do need to put in a... I need to take a few more rows out, so I'll do that tomorrow. At some point. Aww. But... But you've got to take more rows out. I know, it's fine. It's It's... Only about ten rows or something, but rather than having to re rehash. Oh, I'll finish my tea, which is probably rather cold now. Mm. In fact, I won't finish that. That's not very nice at all. Because oh. you're not with me, and I haven't made you a fresh one. I know. What? It's just. Oh dear yeah so i think after this um i may find out where i can buy oh i've just realized i can actually buy that cherish gin um it actually gets 8.8 .8 out of 10. so i'm just gonna have a little look um you can get it, get it in masters of malt master of malt Oh, no, Claire, don't do that. That's not a good challenge for tomorrow. That's a boring challenge. Tracy, we, I can't remember if you were on this morning or not, but we were going to have um, daily challenges, uh, and Claire set hers this morning, um, and we started by uh, going over whether she'd achieved it or not. Mine was to go out for a walk, which I did do. Uh, I think Angela's challenge for tomorrow should be to do some knitting that I don't have to frog. <laughs> um, what could be my challenge? Go for a longer walk? No, that's a bit boring, isn't it? Ah, uh, then definitely you need to do it. If you if it means you can get the sewing machine out, then you definitely need to tidy it up. Challenge B for tomorrow. Um, I don't know. Oh, um, sort out the hosting of my website. So I've spent hours on that today. So I'll I'll get it sorted by tomorrow. So that sounds like a good idea, Tracy. But before you just go and give them away, why don't you, um, when you know which ones you're sorting out, send me some pictures and um, we can show them on the group and see if anybody else wants them instead and you can pop them in the post. Um. 
I did realise that one of the pat that one of the patterns that I thought I would do, I actually need a six point five circular needle. And guess what needle I don't have? Six point five. Yeah. So and I'm I'm not going to order something like that online because I don't I don't think I need to. Um, I've got plenty of other projects I can do, so um, yeah, I'll do another project. So maybe I should look once more and see if I can find a 6.5 millimetre needle. Circular. Huh? Um, yeah. I haven't got 6.5 either. No, they're, they're a, a size that you don't really seem to have. Um, oh. Oh, I have, I think. Hang on. Have you? Uh, um, can I just say that when we talk about the, the things, I got yeah. really into the thing neither. got some 6.5 chicken borough. Thank you. Uh, but with the, um, I remember trying some crochet needles and they were from a company up in Bradford and they were so cheap, it was unbelievable. Um, but they were fantastic needles. So sometimes the cheaper ones are much, much better than some of the expensive ones. Um, and I know about the whole range in this, um, this type of crochet hook and they were fantastic. And I think I only paid about a pound per crochet hook. They were really, really um, cheap, but they were brilliant. Um, when I was new and keen, I bought one of those sets off eBay. <laughs> yeah, and you know yeah, what I, I did as well. And I think I used one of them and decided they were too cheap and nasty that I'd invest in the proper ones instead. Mm. Well, I think that needles are a very personal taste, aren't they? Because sometimes it depends on what wool you use to use in as well. Because sometimes the cheaper needles hold certainly anything with silk in it. Because um, something sometimes they just go flying off the really nice needles. Um, so I know the cheaper ones are, are really good. Um, has anyone found? use the are they called Leica ones um they're made out of driftwood no <laughs> Claire I agree I've got some really cheap crochet hooks which are lovely to use but I just think yeah. knitting needles because you're using them because there's two of them you're holding them for a lot longer yeah Oh, Pat, yeah. she's going to practice mitered corners with her sewing machine or tablecloth. Fabulous. Oh, oh. oh, well, maybe Claire's got some tips for you, Pat. Yeah, that would be good to um, see what we can do to help Pat. Um, I love... I love it when um, you know you're you're trying to crack something, Pat, and every time you attempt it, it sort of goes wrong, and then suddenly um, you just make it slightly differently, and then you perfect it. So I'm sure you're going to do that really, really soon. Um, but yeah, mitered corners. I can't even remember. I I used to do all that stuff when I was like a teenager. Um, but I never actually le learned the rules around it. It just seemed to happen. I'm sure I'd make a total pig's ear or something like that now if I tried again. Slowly and practice. Thank you, Claire. <sighs> I went into, um, my stash buster 
my, well, my stash in the garage earlier. Um, and I realised that I found some more wool that I totally forgot about from the Sheringham swap. And it's a green colour that looks like Noro. So I've got even more Noro style stuff. Oh. In the, in the I think I've got about five skeins there. So um, something else to do. Not, uh, and I, I don't want to use it all as a cowl. So I think I do want to have a, um, a go at the Penguinolo. You know, the um, who's that designer that I absolutely love who does all the weird colour? Um, lives in the Netherlands. Something in Penelope. Um, what's his name? Um, right, let me find. Fine, 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 fine. You know, as soon as I, I, I show you. Stephen West. Oh, yes, him. Yes. His cardigan. So I'm thinking of using a few of the Noro style things. I won't use Noro on that, but using up quite a lot from the stash. But I don't know whether I'd actually wear some of this stuff at the end. So, um, yeah. Tracy. It's um, it's strange how how long somebody can actually spend in a bath, isn't it? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm huh? Give me a glass of wine, some classical music, and I could be in a bath for hours. Really? I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know why. Actually, no, I I think it's down to the type of bath because I know when I used to um it's the liverpool malmaison it's got the, m the most amazing baths there and those are ones that you can't physically touch both ends of them so those baths are amazing i i, I could actually sit in those um but uh, i get totally bored just don't get it i'd rather have my glass of wine or gin afterwards sit there for an hour <laughs> oh dear I don't so, do it very um, often. I find no. it really helps when I've got a stinking migraine that I just can't get rid of. Oh, I'll have to try that mm. next time I have one. Um, yeah. Oh, I've just realised I forgot to tell the tomato story, so we'll tell that another day. So oh, you I'll, can't I'll... leave us hanging now. Da, da, da. Um, okay, so uh, really, really quickly, I'll tell this little story. Um, I was queuing up at the market on Saturday for fresh veg and fruit, and there was somebody in the queue who obviously had not gone to a market stall before, so everything is all laid out perfectly, and um, this person turned around and said excuse me do you have a punnet of mushrooms and the lady said i've got loose mushrooms how many would you like and he said a punnet's worth so we'd never bought them for anything but a punnet and then he got to the tomato request so the gentleman turned around and said excuse me i've got to uh, i need some tomatoes but i need to make them into tinned tomatoes because I need to cook with them. At which point my brain sort of said to me internally, and where do you think that tinned potato, sorry, tinned tomatoes come from? And then at the end, just as if my eye rolling couldn't roll anymore, he turned round to the lady and said, excuse me, do you have salad leaves? At which point she said, do you mean a lettuce? And I was just totally incensed that there are people who have never realised that tomato, tin tomatoes come from tomatoes and you can actually 
cook with these things. And salad leaves are actually picked off, stuck in a plastic bag and filled with nitrogen to let them last for longer. So anyway, that was my um, Saturday morning where I was rather incensed, but um, hopefully we educated the gentleman and he's gone home and he has started to cook and realizes that tomatoes can be put into whatever you want and cooked with. So um, that was Saturday morning. So um, oh I, t I told my friend today and she was as shocked as I was and I thought, well, maybe we're just sort of the equivalent of coffee snobs. And I went, no, we're not. Everyone knows that tin tomatoes do actually come from tomatoes and you don't have to argue about the tin of tomatoes to cook with, so never mind. Um, Tracy, yes, it was, um, honestly, it was horrific. So um, we don't realise that some people with this situation that's going on at the moment, um, there aren't, isn't the ready meal stuff available for them. So people are, hopefully people are starting to learn to cook from scratch as well. But yes, my eyes were rolling. Um, <laughs> Tracy, possibly, but we'll let your son off. Um, so uh, don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, and we're nearly at 10 o'clock. So it is nearly the witching hour. I was going to say, I think I'm about ready for bed now. <clears throat> yeah yeah i think i need to stop talking because i've not stopped talking since 10 o'clock this morning <laughs> <laughs> you'll sleep well tonight then you're laughing but i didn't when i came off from you i have spoken to the person who does uh, my websites for me um i've so tried to sort out hosting i then said i was leaving a company and then realized i was paying for um, up to 99 websites <laughs> on that hosting. So there's loads of spare space, but I just don't like them. I want to move it elsewhere. So we'll sort that out. Um, I've sorted out YouTube channels, you name it. I've spoken to my uncle, spoke to my parents, which was fun. And um, and then came back on to, uh, spoke to my neighbor for an hour, um, had a nice little thing through the door. So we've got a nice little WhatsApp group in the area. And then I came here um, to spend time with you wonderful people. Tracy, so, um, you reminded me what my challenge is tomorrow. It's to finish uh, clipping my cat's nails, which I've had to start today. Uh, it's a shame because I could have done them for you. Yeah, you'd have probably got away with it with Tophie as well, unlike me who got injured. Oh, no. Yeah, he was not Do you know what happy. the secret is? You know when you hold their paw out? Yeah. The the little pad underneath press into that. Yeah. And then their claws come out and, and you just snip so there's no colour, just the white bit. But if you press that, they don't quite know what to do and you just can just quickly snip it. Yeah. But you know how my lovely, normally beautifully plaid, laid back Tofi is? Yeah. He was hissing like he was about to be in a fight and howling. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to finish tomorrow. And I'm gonna, then I'm going to try Bex, which will be even worse. <laughs> cheese? <laughs> oh. Like che oh, I hadn't thought about that. That's an idea. Cheese. Yeah, yeah. Well, people, we have loved with being with you um, twice in a day. Uh, we, we're at 10 o'clock tomorrow um, morning. So um, whilst we can both talk for England, I don't think we'll do the evening one for a few days. No. Um, and, um, yeah, uh, we, we won't be doing them every day because we all have all the things to do, like um, cut the cat's toenails. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's been um, lovely seeing you all this evening and thank you for joining in and showing your bye. projects good night everyone you. love you all bye